Virginian Homes Charles Tour brings us to Manawatu Golf Club for the Brian Green Property Group Manawatu Super Sixes. This is an exciting event because it's new. But what makes it new? Great question. First of all, this is a mixed gender event. So the men and the women are playing a course set up by New Zealand Golf that will provide them with the same golfing experience. But why is it called the Super Sixes? What's the big deal with the number six? I'm happy you asked. So round one and two is just like a normal 72 hole stroke play event. After round one and two, there's a cut and the top 60 go through. And then day three, there's another cut and the top 24 go through to day four. And that's where things start to get interesting. Now let me explain how day four is going to work and we'll use this iPad so you've got a visual. We've got 24 players left in the field. Now the top eight, they're going to go off and have a cup of coffee and relax because they get to have a bye first round. Now the remaining 16, they're going to go head to head over a six hole course. Now the winners of those head to head matches, they advance, so we've got eight winners. Now the top eight from before that were having their coffee, they come back into the mix. Then these guys fight it out over a six hole course. From there, you're gonna have eight winners. And then you're gonna have them turning into a four, which is our semi-final. And then two becomes our winner. This is not the official winner's photo, but I think it's close enough. They've got a very big right hand. Brian Green Property Group, Manawatu Super Sixes. What's it like for you as president? Oh, I'm very, very proud actually. The whole club's really proud. You can tell by the turnout. The uh, volunteers we have are second to none. The course is magnificent. The weather is like sounds like this all the time, but it's just really fan it's just fantastic. I think it's great for the community. There's lots of non-members here watching that. It's just giving the whole town a bit of a buzz. Some quarterfinals action now. Sam Arn and Nick Voke. Now Nick Volk was the leader in the stroke play and he's definitely the favourite heading into the final day. He is a complete golfer, seriously world class. So is Sam Arn, but Nick managed to win this quarter final and advance. So what's a day like for you with this? Because it's pretty chaotic. These matches coming through all the time. How do you stay on top of it all? Well, we're sort of freewheeling it at the moment. This is the first time we've run an event like this. But yeah, we've got matches starting. We've got matches ending. As you say, pretty chaotic, but it's been awesome so far. We've got Dave Griffin here. Dave, tell us your connection to this whole event. Oh, my daughter plays golf at Manamatu Golf Club, and uh, she was in the tournament. Unfortunately, she missed the cut. Uh, but she plays with Dare, and we're all rooting for Dare today. Yes girl power. The first time the girls have been you know, up against the, the guys in an equal format. It's great. Daray, what an effort. Thank what was it like out there? I think I just composed myself really well. Uh, towards the end I actually got quite nervous because a lot of people were following us around but I think I played the best that I could and I'm really happy with my result today. It's semi-finals time, really tense stuff. Nick Voke is one under par after five holes. They're coming down the last right now. Jang Hyun Lee He's two under par, he's just made an eagle on the par five fourth. Awesome stuff. This is why we play the game. Jang Hun Lee, he hits this to 15 feet approaching the 18th green, not a bad shot. Nick Folk is dead in the bunker with no green to work with, but watch this. That is unbelievable. You will not find a better shot than what you've just seen. Oh my gosh. I'm really taken aback, I was not expecting that. Unreal. So just a quick refresher, Jang Hun Lee, if he holds this, he beats Nick Voak and is through to the final. He's got about a 15, 20 foot putt for birdie. Nick Voak has just hit it stone dead for birdie. This is intense. He has to hold this. Good stroke, it's tracking, it's tracking, and it's in the middle, he gives it the tiger fist pump. Jang Hun Lee has won. Incredible to watch. Amazing putt. Jang Hyun Lee, intense stuff, unreal putt on the last there. How are you feeling beating a man like that? It feels amazing. I just want to keep this momentum in the final and I'm playing amazing this week and just amazing here. Yeah. You've played great all week. You've just been pipped at the post there. What's going on in your head at the moment? That's golf. Yeah. You know, played really well. We were all square with two to play and I finished birdie birdie and I lost by one. You know, you can't do much about that and 
uh, playing good golf and hopefully this is a springboard to bigger things. So Daniel Hillier and Charlie Smale have just wrapped up. Daniel Hillier has won that, so the final is Jang Hyun Lee and Daniel Hillier over six holes, bring it on. So earlier I was trying to explain with my iPad with numbers going everywhere. It can be a little confusing, I get that, but all that really matters is we're down to two players, Daniel Hillier and Jang Hyun Lee. Six holes to go and one prize up for grabs. Let's catch up with the action. So on the sign there it says hole 10, this is actually hole one in the six hole format. Daniel Hillier taking iron, putting it down the centre of the fairway. Jang's fled it right, could be in some trouble under the trees. Daniel hits a great shot in there, but behind the pin. You don't want to be behind the pin on this hole. Jang, though, he's actually smashed that over the back. Not a good spot. And then this happens. The ball was sitting down, couldn't really get the grooves on the ball. He sent it back down the front of the green, he'll be deeply disappointed. Right now he's thinking, come on, let's just hit it to two feet, take off five and move on. But no, he's got about 15 foot up the hill to save bogey. And he's missed that. He tidies up for six. Daniel right now is thinking, oh, if I hold this, I've got a three shot swing on the first hole. A lovely cush heading into this six hole format. And he's just missed it right. But he tidies that up. Still, two shot swing. Not bad to start for Daniel Hillier. The second hole for them now, 312 metres, gettable because they go over the trees. Daniel's hit it well, but he's kind of pulled it a bit left. And Jang, he crunches it. That's a little right, could be finding the bunker by the green. Now Daniel's searching for his ball. It looks like it's dead, so he's going to take a drop. He can go back as far as he wants in line with the ball and the pin. And he hits this amazing shot in there. Look at that. That is to save par for Daniel Hillier. Jang's in the bunker. If he can make up and down, that's a birdie. All of a sudden, this match gets a little tighter. It's a delicate little bunker shot. He's got about 10 feet left. This is for birdie to get one back on Daniel. Oh, hits the lip. Taps that in for par. Now, Daniel also has this for par. He's just missed that left. Now, tidies that up for bogey. Match. He's getting tighter. There's one shot in it. So after three holes, Jan Hong Lee is three over and Daniel Hillier is two. Not great scoring, but a tight match. Onto the par three now. You can't really see it here, but there is a bit of a tailwind making it hard to spin. So Jang hits it to the back and so does Daniel. Now Daniel will probably get a read off Jang here. Good putt, not looking too bad, but just short. And Daniel, it's tracking, but misses as well. They both make regulation pars. Full credit to Manawatu Golf Club. They have really thought about this. You start on hole 10, which is the hole one for the Super 6 format. It goes three par fours, a par three, and then this great par five, which is gettable in two, but you have to get it away off the tee. And then you end with that drivable par four. This is set up perfectly for this event. Really good to see the locals turning out for this great match. Jang, he's going for the green and two. Hits a good one in there. Daniel's not happy with the strike, but the result's pretty good. In the end, they've both played this hole really well. So Jang Hun Lee has just made birdie on the par five fifth. He's at plus two. Daniel has also made birdie, so he's plus one. One shot difference with one hole to play. So Jang Hun Lee's hit it here. He's got a reasonably straightforward approach to the green. And then Daniel's gone long left over here. Both not in trouble, both birdie opportunities. He's clipped it nicely, straight at the flag, maybe a little long. Needs the spin, needs the spin. Not bad, not bad at all actually, it's coming back. Oh, he's caught a fin. Is that spinning? 
Oh no, he's gone long. Okay, that's over the back. That's got the spin, that's a great shot. Yeah, really well played. That is world class. That is world class. To hit that to a couple of feet under that pressure is incredible. Remember, if he holds this, it's a playoff. What's it doing? Looking good. Is it? Oh, he's pulled it left. Daniel has this part for the win. And there we have it. The Brian Green Property Group Manawatu Super Sixes. Champion Daniel Hillier beating Jun Hun Lee by one shot on the last hole. We thank you obviously to the players who have embraced this tournament big time. The feedback we've received has been phenomenal. To all the volunteers, I think we've got about 60, 60 plus members of our golf club. Can't thank you enough, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic. You can't run a tournament without volunteers. To the greenkeepers, I think you'll all agree the course has just been presented in absolutely mint condition. We are so fortunate, we plan this every week. But now it gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the inaugural Brian Green Property Group New Zealand Super 6 Manawatu, Daniel Hillier, to come forward and accept the cheque. It's been a long time coming. I, I remember, you know, remember very vividly my uh, my first win as an amateur on the Junior Homes Charles Tour. And, uh, you know, I really wanted to get that feeling back and to have that opportunity today was uh, was really special. To my family and my friends for, uh, for all their support out there today uh, and throughout the week, you know, it's, it's unbelievable having such a supportive group of people to, to keep pushing me and to keep me, well, basically keeping me in line. But yeah, really grateful for everything and to my dad especially for being on the bag this week. Uh, it's a pretty special day. New format, six holes. Did you learn anything about your game in this new format? Yeah, I think the big thing about this format is that you know, it's a tricky one because you want to attack, but there's also you make one mistake and it's it could be all over. You know, so it's it's finding that fine line between being too aggressive and not assertive enough, I guess. Good on you, mate. It was a great pleasure to watch. You are the champion. Well done. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We've got the mayor here, Grant Smith, the mayor of Palmerston North City. What do you make of this event, Grant? Oh, it's been fantastic. Quite innovative. You know, quick fire, men and women, six holes, uh, T. T20 version really of golf. We played on the Pro-Am with Daniel on uh, Wednesday actually and uh, he told us how old he was and we said well there's 220 years of experience here with you he might be able to help you. Well, it's <laughs> got him so far hasn't it? Good stuff. Well thank you very much for your support. This is a great event and long mate continue. Appreciate it. Okay thank you very much. So that's it. It is over. What an awesome event. A couple of things to take away from this. First of all it was pretty bold making a mixed gender event, but they absolutely nailed it. All the tees were placed in the perfect position so that the men and the women had the same golfing experience. Credit to New Zealand Golf for pulling that off so well. And finally, Manawatu Golf Club, well done on being bold enough to host this new event. It was great. We'll see you next time on Golf Story.